Peeps, what a one. It's Valerie's Naturals Oracles. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Wherever you are, today is really is a doozy because we've got a tale of betrayal, a tale of no trust, a tale of lust. Do I keep going or do I just get on with it? Get on with it, Val. So the very first card is the Queen of Cups. It's you, the loving, caring, trustworthy person that wore their heart on their sleeve. I want to go on, peace, I want to go on. But you, re you soon realise it was nothing but heartache. This was nothing but sleepless nights. This person haunted you. This person was had you up in your head, stressed, worried, lack of sleep. So you know what you did, don't you? I'm going to tell you what you did. You rejected them. <laughs> Is this the person feeling rejected now? <laughs> Do you know what? In all essence, though, people, they could have abandoned you first, right? And, and sometimes these people play games and they think, oh, I'm going to abandon this person. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to soft ghost them. Do you know what a soft ghosting is? You don't hear from this person for three months, okay? But instead of you re replying to this person after they phoned you and say, how you doing? W-Y-D. <laughs> Did you get a W-Y-D, people? You just decided to ghost them back. You said they're not worth my time. If they couldn't call you after what happened when went down and explain themselves and do what they need to do, you're not bothered with the situation. You cut it, get a quip. You said karate chop, get them the one too. You're rejecting this situation because you're bored of that situation. And now this person is having an epiphany. But the other thing that's coming out here with the the higher frogs, there's two things actually. It could be a Taurus. But the second thing is, <laughs> what I want, peace, what I want. This person could be in a committed relationship or they could be married. And that's part of the reason. Do you know what? Your intuition kicked in. Your intuition said, nah, this guy's playing games. This girl's playing games. Could they be married? married up in a relationship and didn't tell you that's worse than lying isn't it because you're going into a whole relationship with somebody and they're lying to you i want to go on please want to go on but you figured them out and now it's nothing but a tower moment to this person do you see the type of tower that said nobody's not even falling out of it because this person can't dig themselves out of this hole i want to go on please want to go on they don't know what to do about this situation. Bon, bon, bon fight for them. <laughs> I want to go on, peace, want to go on. And now this person wants to come forward to you in their innocent. Do you see that innocent face? This person wants to come forward to you like they're innocent, like nothing went down, like they don't want to talk about the situation. They want to take a leap of faith. But do you see them as a damn fool? <laughs> I want to go on, peace, want to go on. And you know the only reason why this person's coming forward, and I've been doing a lot of videos like this lately, because the timelines are shifting, people, and karma is now nyamming some people, buddy. <laughs> the scales of justice are here to balance out situations. Are you getting nothing but good karma? But you're hearing in the background that these people are getting nothing but bad. Is karma visiting them? <laughs> what I want, please, what I want. They're nothing but heartbroken. Do you see that heart? You just say joking. This is the kind of heart that's really feeling it. Oh my goodness, do they want to? Oh, do I say it? Do I say it? Do they want? to commit suicide are they doing the rituals to come out of this karma i don't know i don't want to go down that road but this person is even thinking about dun 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 do i say do you see how disheveled is it i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say it you tell me what you think in the comments are they committing you know what <laughs> because they can't get out of, because the karma's got them that much and now all they can think about is going to karma waters with you and they try to come out the drama that they're in all this drama with this married situation this commitment they're in is it the karmic in the background or is it just some kid kind of interference and this person's definitely having an eye alerted i understand because i tell you they realize that drama is not it <laughs> they want to heal this situation with you 
This is also Aquarius. Now, for some of you people that like me to quote star signs or zodiac signs, even though I don't like to, here's Taurus. There's a lot of water. There is an awful lot of air. I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on. The only one that's not represented here is the earth signs, apart from this Taurus. Anyway, this person wants to heal the situation. Either now or in the near future. They want to go to Karma Water. So let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Because you know I'm the bottom of the deck queen. So madness is really going to go down with this treachery. Because this was nothing but treachery and hard. And, uh, this is sleepless nights you had. But you've come out of that situation. And now what is going down? Someone's in judgment. Dun, dun, dun. Did you make a judgment? Or a spirit making a judgment about this situation? Because you are nothing but the boss bitch. The boss man who saw the the intentions and that's why you walked away in the first place you are nothing but abundance now look at kuyo kuyo <laughs> i want to go on please want to go on you're the golden one <laughs> You are the one who is abundant, who is stable, who is around. And when you see the Nine of Pentacles, this is about single them as well sometimes. It doesn't have to be, but are you young, free and single, old, free and single, ready to mingle? I don't know. But you had the strength and power. You turned your pain into power and you are nothing but strength now. And meanwhile, your person, <laughs> your person's going through it. Do you see that? That side eye <laughs> because they're trying to soldier on and it's not happening and all they're doing is you know when you see the side eye like that that's somebody trying to figure it out but do you see the little golfing with the tail that like the devil <laughs> they're still in their devil energy you see all the fire bonfire for them because look here they want to rush in they want to rush in like Jon Snow have you ever seen um <laughs> do you know what you can tell I'm one of those buffs what is it it's um oh what is that you, you, Comment below what's the bloody show called. I remember Jon Snow with his wolf. but I, And it looks like Jon Snow, in it? But this is actually somebody who wants to rush in. They feel defeated and want to rush in like a bull in a china shop. They want to appear to you to be good news. But do you see those eyes? Is it somebody who's an energy vampire wanting to play the little bit of a passion? Or is it that they got passion in the mind? Because look, this is how they're going to appear to you as the page of wands. But this is how they really want to be. But do you see? the blood dripping like they're an energy vampire is it a vampire in your midst who's passionate about you but they're also an energy vampire me no no but this is madness because look here's the seven of swords let me show you something this person and their representative is going to show up but really they're an energy vampire and i know i see blood there but i'm talking about energies people they want to come back with deception or did they deceive themselves because really look What's, look what's coming out now of the page of cubs do they gonna give you this pretend apology and really they just want to trick you into being this do they want to give it to you good when i'm seeing too much ones it's about the phallic symbol this person's passionate about you don't want to give it to you and they're keeping this a secret aren't they or is it been a reveal to them but it's time for them to actually come forward with a bloody apology <laughs> some kind of emotional gesture was they was they emotionally un available did they was they a void was they void of emotions and now they want to come with the liquid liquid dibby juvenile here comes the ace of cups here again they just want to come with the phallic symbol the haste or not the ace of cups ace of wands they want to come with, and here is the kid i knew he, i knew he would turn up somewhere i just knew this one would turn up you see how evil they look they're plotting and planning do you see the hand it's not even real <laughs> no i shouldn't say that it's probably in one of those metal gloves in it because this is the one that plots and plans and is always in their logic do you see how they look is dark entities taking over this plotting and planning your demise with the seven of swords i don't know people but you know but when they come forward in their logic is an unwise choice are they gonna do something stupid well, they can't, can you? Because all they're doing at the moment is being stagnant and unstable. And I want you! Look at them. Look at them watching you. They just... Oh, my goodness, with this page of swords. They could even...
haven't been talking about you, but they're definitely watching you and trying to find out information about you because and I'm gonna tell you why. You caught you delete your karate chop, you give them the one too. You're in hangman mode with this person. You step from the situation. As we know previously, and you said, not a bungo ungo. I am not going there with this person. Even if they come forward to me, it's very debatable what I'm going to do. I don't know what you are going to do, but you need to decide because you're in hangman mode. But is this, do you know when you see the hangman mode sometimes, you're deliberately hanging back and you're confused about what this person's doing and you don't want to know. And or you just don't want to know anymore and you're just bored about the situation. But what it's also about is that you're just not talking to this person. You just don't want to know. This is also about you analysing this situation. I don't know, but look at this. Look at this. This person is just hung up outside. There was something else I wanted to say about this, but I've forgotten. But you know what? You decide what you're going to do with this person. Oh, that's what it was, because sometimes this is about not closing cycles. Because you can see there's something going on there. And this is why you've hung back in the first place. So I don't know what you're going to do, but you need to decide what you're going to do with this person. Because they're going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying. They're going to keep trying, people. 